Hey guys, out here at the airfield, gonna test out this new wing. Ivy Crazy is behind the camera. We're checking out a brand new plane that he's designed called the Chimera. Uh, just finished the build this past week and ready to put it in the air and maiden it. Definitely a unique shaped wing. Uh, something very different than what's out there flying. So let's go ahead and get it in the air and let's see what she looks like. No, vertical isn't an issue with this thing. Look out. It it, it holds speed really well. Holy cow. It's even got a cool sound. I'm like, what is that whistling noise? That's the airframe. Handles great. Handles absolutely fantastic. Just let her go. She'll glide. Well, I didn't mean to stuff it in that quick. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> That was a good maiden. Yeah, it was. Dude, that is awesome. <laughs> Alright, there you have it, the Chimera Maiden. I just want to do a quick little recap here and show you a little bit more on this uh, cool aircraft. Um, I am running Open LRS on it, running Metal Gear 9 gram servos, centered off. Uh, the Elevons are made out of Coraplast 
and just angled them kind of kept with the uh, dimensions of the wing. I've got uh, of course my FPV camera and then I've got a space for my GoPro right up front. Open LRS, my uh, video transmitter that I'm putting in. I actually just made a little change with it. So I am uh, getting that set up. Uh, Coroplast cover and then what I like to do is um, I'm kind of getting this uh, formula kind of down. I'm rounding the corners. I put a nice bead of either goop or welder's adhesive down, throw it in place, and then slowly work a nice bead of goop in so everything's nice and smooth. Gives me a little bit more room under the bay so I can dig it down deep but then basically not have to drop it down and lose you know a quarter inch. Inside my bay I've got my uh, filter and distribution for uh, long range flights with my OSD. I can fly it without if I want. And then of course video transmitter and then uh, pigtails that plug in here. And I can run two four thousands. That's what I maidened it on, two four thousands. So 8,000 milliamp total battery power. Can also fly it on two threes and should be able to fly it on two 2200s as well just by changing the CG position depending on what I'm running. So if I want to run light setup, can do that. So nice multi-purpose wing. Um, of course, you could cut this bay out bigger if you wanted to. Shouldn't be an issue. Uh, I'm running a 65 amp from the ERC uh, hobby-lobby.com. Great little uh, online RC company and. Uh, like using them. And then I'm spinning an old Axie, um, what am I running here? 281410, spinning a 7.5 prop, so nice top end on here. Um, other than that, everything is as about as flush as I can get it. I like to, um, like to keep, you know, on this kind of stuff, keep it as aerodynamic as possible. So other than the big honking GoPro up front and the board camera, other than that, no other issues. Of course, running the 199X from Security Camera 2000. Great camera. I love the little box because if you crash, it really does hold up. And I did crash on one of my other wings, and all it did is mess up the lens. I was able to pop a new lens in, no issues to the board. And on the other side, I've got my antenna. Of course, another Metal Gear servo. And I really like these Dubro, or yeah, I think it's Dubro that I'm running the, uh, the threaded... Um, rod and then the clevises and stuff they just work really good all right so here is the bottom of the wing and got my velcro strap cg uh not from the front of the nose but from the tail is actually roughly around six inches and i've got my spars in carbon spars and uh honestly that kind of a-frame design worked great and then what i did is so i've got this kind of pattern on the back and then what I did on the front, of course, there's my antenna. And then on the front, I did a small, really thin spar just to reinforce those winglets. I'm sure if you just ran one from one side to the other as close as you could, it would be fine. I just decided to reinforce because I like my stuff really stiff and strong. And then I don't have any issues if I decide to uh, pull a high maneuver and you know high speed and pull out of something and I don't have to worry about the wing collapsing. So to me, I'd rather overbuild then have to rebuild. So guys, um, thanks for watching the Maiden of the Chimera. This is a plane that is coming out soon from Video Aerial Systems and I'd be crazy. So look for it uh, soon and available uh, for purchase as a kit. All right guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.